Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, so today we're going to tie a simple sort of version of a flash tail whistler. So this one is going to be a silver, red and white one. So this is a size 40 uh, Sakuma 470 top gun hook. Uh, quite short shank, I like the look of them. I think it suits this fairly well. So we have our white thread and I'm going to use uh, the first sort of two thirds or so of the, of the hook. We'll get our thread on and super glue that to secure it all in place. And for the tail, what we're going to do is use a bit of this sort of lure flash uh, mobile in a silver. Quite a soft material and it has that ripple in it so it gives extra flash. So I'm going to take a bunch out of that. You might get six or seven flies out of a out of a hank of this. We're not tying them overly big here. So I take my bunch from one side and I hold the other. There's the cable tie in the middle and I pull. And that way you get less uh, bunching up on this side. If you grab it with the cable tie and try and pull through it, it tends to all fank up in here. So these bunches are naturally about 10 inches or so long. So what I'm going to do is tie it in here about two thirds or so of the way along its length. A few nice tight turns on it and then just fold this back on itself and a turn just at the base of it and that will do our tail. Move this this way so you can see. You get a little bit of taper to it but not overly much. You don't want a huge pile of taper to this one. So these flies have uh, like big bead chain eyes, uh, so I'm going to choose to put that on now because I've found that if you try and put it on at the end, it's maybe not just as neat. So we put a turn across it to, uh, when it's on the top to hold it, and then I like to flip it underneath the shank, and then you sort of do maybe I'll put it over this way, you might see it. So figure of eight type wraps one way, the other way. Straighten it up. Super glue those thread wraps to set it in place. And while it's wet, then I do another couple in each direction into the wet super glue, and there's no way that should fall apart. So, next I'm going to put on a little collar of uh, white bucktail. And I'm using the bit at the base here, it's a bit more flare to it, it's a bit shorter, it's not an overly big fly. I cut that off nice and square. I'll offer it up and I'm going to tie across it, leaving maybe three or four mil out. And then as I pull, it should spin around the shank. And then I wrap into those loose ends and I should have a nice sort of collar then of... Deer hair. Gives a bit of volume and movement. So next I'm going to put on a couple of uh, grizzle hackles. These are plain white and black grizzle. I'll take two sort of the same length. Set them up on top. So they're on the top flat. So then whenever I grab down and pinch it'll flip them onto the sides. I hold the two in position at the one time. If I tie it in, they should roughly make like a roof on top. Tie that forward, trim it off. And then go on to a bit of super glue in there. So, uh, for the front part of it, uh, you have a couple options. You could use uh, like a marabou, a red marabou feather and wind it. You could use craft fur, any sort of fur. Uh, what I'm going to do is use a little red craft fur brush that I made. So, I've made this brush on wire because pike have teeth. So I'm going to just tie that back and then we'll wind this up like a hackle to the front. So I'm just stroking these fibers out to the side like a hackle as I wind them. And when 
to get it all on I'll brush it out as well so don't worry that it looks overly messy at the at the minute so I get tight up behind my eyes then pull it in to tighten it wrapping in just behind those eyes I'll fold that back on itself and a couple of wraps in front then flip to the front just behind the eye and finish that off and then we'll trim off our wire thing there and that is our first tie, we just have to finish it up so we'll take our brush and just brush out this craft for a colour that we made and then super glue our iron thread and that's our fly finished that so we glue it on the bottom as well and there we have a simple version of a little uh, flash tail whistler type fly so uh, as per usual if you like what you see like subscribe tell your friends and um, until next time Tight lines and thanks for watching.